In this brave new world of artificial intelligence, the first direct effect on all our lives will be in transport. It's already begun, and it will change humanity in many ways. It's well enough known by now that driverless cars and lorries are being trialled. The future, we're told, may involve our children not having to learn how to drive. Please press the automation button to place the car in automated mode. Right, so here we go. Where's this button? Even sitting in a simulator, you feel a lack of control as you don't grip the wheel or press the brakes. Driving one for real involves a leap of faith. Automation yeah. has control. Okay. Please center the steering wheel. You are now free to engage in other tasks. The engineers here are sure the technology is good enough for driverless travel on motorways, if not in congested cities. Because there's too much going on, um, you know, this is an extremely busy and complex environment uh, with lots of potential um, distractors, uh, people running across the roads. Um, so I think that's probably too complex. We've certainly tried contemporary vehicle automation, both on the motorway and in urban environments. Uh, it's, they don't work at all in urban environments. And even on motorways, they require regular interventions by human drivers. The future, it seems, may be a combination of systems moving us from pod to driverless pod. Monorail systems near airports are driverless, and people use those quite happily. The paths of the cars through space would be similar to if there were, um, you know, some physical guide to them. So I think in some cases, um, so long as the, uh, as the speeds are fairly low, it's probably a safe proposition. True believers in driverless transport say we will be able to sleep or work in our vehicle. But if that sounds good, it will also mean the loss of millions of jobs. No wonder trades unions want to know how those jobs will be replaced. We're looking to see massive, a massive investment in electric vehicles, driverless vehicles, future mobility. We need a great leap forwards. It's easy to understand this concern. In the UK, there was a massive shock when car factories which had traditionally employed thousands of people, all shut because of foreign competition. This used to be the Jaguar factory in the West Midlands. Now it's going to be a warehouse. The advent of driverless cars and wider automation could be a far greater shock still. The British government reckons that driverless cars could create up to 30,000 jobs in the UK, which sounds OK until you hear evidence that says that in this part of England alone, automation could cost 300,000 jobs. It becomes pretty clear that governments like the one in Britain need a job strategy for automation, and quickly. We're asked to consider a world in which no humans at the wheel of a vehicle means accidents will not happen, and more than a million lives will be saved every year. Driverless vehicles will be on the roads, and soon. But will humans whose jobs rely on transport accept them? And can we learn to trust the machines to safeguard the lives of those we love? Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, London.